or another coolest problem problem number 158a of chord forces ah uh, this is a very easy level problem is next round okay so the problem statement is saying let's just have a quick look at over here it is saying we have given their contestant who answers score equal to greater than kth place value okay so there will be a kth place value so till over there the contestant earns a score which is equal to greater than okay and if we, if they want to move to the next round then their score has to be greater than that kth place value all right and they they will gonna earn a positive score for for that okay so uh, we gonna have to care about this positive score term as well okay so uh whenever you are reading the problem just make sure like you try to read every like this kind of story as well because it's very important a total of n participants took part in the contest where n will be greater than k okay so there will be n participants and we have to uh, find the value to, like we have to get the kth place value greater, greater uh, to move to the next round greater than that okay so we want to understand this thing by simply looking at example what i am saying calculate how many participants will advance in to the next round we have to calculate how many participants will go to the next round okay so like uh, if you want to read that you can read i'm going to simply tell you what the problem statement is i don't want to like make it a little bit confusing let's take it very simple so we have this n which is 8 and 5 which is k okay so over here there will be eight participants as they have given n is 8 all right and we have to uh, we, we have to check the fifth, fifth place value which will be our this will 10 is uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 over here so till over here as you can see like till our fifth place value uh, we have to check is everything is greater than uh, greater than our fifth place value or equals to yes it is so 10 is greater than uh, 10 is greater than 7 9 is greater than 7 8 is greater than 7 7 is equals to 7 and uh, this one uh, itself and this place is still greater than equal sorry, equals to 7 but this place over here is less than 7 so we don't count it so till over here we, we want to count it till over this place okay so this will be like our count will be 6 so till uh, we, we can we uh, now number of participants can move to the next round is 6 6 participants that's what it's saying we have, to, we have to get like how many participants can move to the next round now let's look at over here in this one so we have four four participants and like till second place the second place value is zero uh one two okay but guys as you have seen over here it is saying we have the contestant earns a positive score so like they have to earn a positive score they, they can be cannot be negative as you can see in the note as well they are explaining in the second example nobody got a positive score so we can't carry it because like zero is neither a positive value neither a, a negative value okay so we can't uh, consider it but for example if, if we are given something like uh four two or uh, four two and here will be one 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 okay so the answer will be four because at the second place everything will be one i hope you get, get my point if you don't get it then don't worry we're just gonna look at the code and you're gonna understand everything else. so it's a very simple problem all right here we go so in this one what i'm gonna do is i will simply say okay uh, do one thing uh first of all take the input like we have to take n and will be our how many participants are uh, carrying into all right now i have to uh, carry out k as well like the kth place value w w the one which you are talking about like till till at, at which place like we have to uh, check like contestant can go further or more okay now simply uh, just run a for loop to like uh, uh, input the all the participants in so running a for loop for that one I'm mistake sorry i less than n i plus plus okay and then a of i equals to cn dot next it. absolutely ladies and gentlemen this thing is absolutely making sense to you all right now what i will do i will simply want to have one count over here like how many candidates can go till over there okay in count equals to zero now in this one i will simply run a for loop for in i equals to zero okay i less than n i plus plus now we have to check we have to check if our the current current position value is greater, greater than or equals to the kth value the kth okay that will be kth minus one why kth minus one because you know you know like they are talking about like like this thing and but but uh, our system system uh, reads something like this if, if you know our uh, the indexing are like this so so we have to we have to go a little bit one more okay so that's how we gonna we go, we, we're going to do it so th that's how we, we are checking because like it is starting from zero so we, we just declare it okay if that's the case and that will be and that value has to be positive one that value has to be positive one so if a of i not equals to zero if that's the case then only we're gonna increment our count okay and finally print out our answer so out dot print line count 
Okay, guys, I hope so. This thing is absolutely clear, make, making sense to you. Okay, so let me just gonna uh, simply okay, so anyway, some errors. Okay, I forgot to, I forgot to, I forgot to input array. My mistake. So make sure to make sure, make sure that okay, just be like this is a silly mistake. I know, I know. Okay, guys, so now uh, everything is absolutely clear. And now I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna just simply copy my uh, this sample example from over here. Here we go. Okay, and it's running the output and let me paste it. Yes, and here we go. Running. So the code is accepting very well. Okay, now well, let me just gonna simply copy it and submit into the our compiler to see any test cases if we are getting error or something like edge cases we are failing. So we wanna check it over here right now. Okay. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, you now we are submitting it to see any error if we want to face or not. So it's just accepting and running on test code one. Mm, so it's, it's taking a time and it's accepted. Okay, so I hope so, ladies and gentlemen, this thing is absolutely clear like how we are uh, dealing with this, how we are solving our problem. If you still have any or anything, just do let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna help you out for sure. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care, bye bye, and I love you guys. Believe me, I love you. Take care, bye bye.